Hello and welcome to Andon's channel, my channel, and I wanted to do a little, little review-ish of a movie called Love, Simon. Love, Simon is a movie that's out now on Blu-ray and streaming and all of that, so I watched it, yes. So what is this movie about? It's essentially like a coming-of-age teenage story about a guy named Simon who has a closeted um, closet gay. Wow, that's not an offense. <laughs> He's a closet <closeted> gay. <laughs> and through, I'm guessing, like, the school's own social media website. I don't know that if that's a thing that American school have. Like, it seemed like they have their own social media where people from that school could post, like, just stuff, <laughs> I guess. It seemed like Facebook or something, I don't know. Anyways, there's a message there from an anonymous person, and this anonymous person has written this whole, like, letter about the fact that he he's gay and he's afraid to talk about it or and all of that. And then Simon, of course, being closeted himself, he picks that straight up and he, he creates his own Gmail account and where, you know, because you don't want to have your actual names, that would be a travesty. And anonymously both of them start messaging each other and Simon falls in love with this person that he has no idea who the person really is but he falls in love with him over their gmail conversations and then the movie is sort of like at some times a comedic romantic mystery of him like figuring out who is the gay man on the school. <laughs> For the first like 20 minutes of the movie I wasn't really into it because they make such a point to show what a liberal and like left-leaning place that Simon lives in and all of their friends and at the school and his parents and all of that It's very clear that if he were to come out as gay Literally no one would have a problem with it, you know, everybody would accept him and him saying like oh But I have this big fat secret. Oh, I'm gay. Oh, no, what do I do? It seemed like that would be like the main crux like the main drama of this movie and I couldn't get into it because I was just like nobody here in your life would have a problem with you being gay literally no one but then almost literally exactly 20 minutes in he explains his reasonings as to why he doesn't want to come out and it does make sense and I'm just like thank god okay he knows it's sort of like an irrational thing he just he just is afraid I just needed essentially the movie to acknowledge like the the whole like situation and the fact that it's all in his in his head simon seems to live a very good life he lives a better life than me god damn it <laughs> you know he has two parents who love him he has a sibling who seems to like him he, he he's like you know a nice guy at school people nobody seems to have a problem with this simon kid which is also why throughout the first 20 minutes of the movie i was just like god damn this fucking kid he has the best life ever and now he's just like oh but i'm secretly gay everybody uh. but again they explain why and i like that we get closer to simon and all of his friends and you know it's a bit of like a side story i guess with all of his friends i guess the main thing is him writing to this person and like trying to decipher who it could be and it's a bit like it's a bit comedic you know because you know he picks the wrong person at some times and Sometimes it's a bit sad when you're just like, it's the guy! Oh, it's not! I should have guessed, we're only halfway into the movie. <laughs> I guess this would count as spoilers, but... Like, it's a teenage movie, I don't know if people really care that much about spoilers. Another guy in Simon's class, Martin, he goes on a computer right after Simon's been on it, and he sees that Simon forgot to log out from his Gmail account like a dunce. How would you forget about that? And Martin, he takes pictures of all of uh, Simon's conversations with the anonymous person, and he basically blackmails Simon that if you don't give me a date with one of your friends, I'm gonna send all of these pictures of your conversations to our school social media sites. And obviously, Simon is just like, what the fuck, are you insane? I guess I'm sort of happy that happened, because now the drama is in the fact that Oh, I'm afraid to come out. Now the drama is like a thing of like control. You know, you want to control your message and suddenly you can control your message if, you know, you're outed. I think like that's another like whole drama thing, you know, you don't want to be outed. That's not fun. <laughs> Even though you know that no one would have a problem with it, the fact that you yourself can't be the one to say it, I get that and the dramatic stakes for, for the movie, they became a bit better after that whole scene. And then of course Simon does this whole like, Basic of a blackmailing thing. He starts to lie to his friends and all of that. And it's just like, wow, Simon, a bit of a shit. He can't see that his girlfriend is very much in love with him. 
and uh, yeah, he sees like basically drug signals, but that's because he's gay. He doesn't know. Why would he know? <laughs> he doesn't have an interest in her, but she has an interest in him. And it's a bit like, ooh, ooh, drama. So at the end of the second act, beginning of the third act, this modern guy com makes a complete fool of himself at a big, like, stadium place. America, you know, they always have the stadium places. And the whole school social media site is just hardcore making fun of Martin. And Martin is just like, you know what? Screw you guys. And he completely, like, sends all of Simon's conversations with the anonymous person. He literally calls out, that, oh, it's Simon that's sending these. You know, he outs Simon, basically. And Simon is just devastated. And then there's, like, a winter break. And Simon doesn't talk to anyone. And what I really liked about that whole sequence was that my thoughts were just completely validated. Because, as I said before, no one have a problem with the fact that he's gay. But it's the fact that sense of control of him being able to talk to people about it that was taken away that's sort of the drama and then with all of his friends the drama has nothing to do with the fact that he's gay it's the fact that you literally lied to all of us you're not that good of a friend like we're not gonna talk to you and i actually really really like that part of the movie it's definitely my favorite part when they all meet up at the start of the new term and they're all just like very much upset <laughs> For about Simon. Again, it's not because he's gay, it's because of all the other shit that he's done throughout the movie. And I'm just like, yes, now that's good. Of course, Simon is alone, he sits alone at the dinner table, and then some like two bullies, I guess, they come out and mob, and he's just like, haha, you're gay, you should be gay with this other gay person, and haha. And then, of course, nobody thinks they're funny, because hopefully, the majority of us live in a society where Jokes like that aren't really funny, <laughs> you know? But that was literally when the movie peaked for me, because then the third act is just him, you know, becoming friends with his friends again, and, you know, solving all of that, and then finding out who is this mysterious anonymous person who, by the way, completely shut him off. As soon as he was outed, this anonymous person who he's mailed back and forth, I all, all this time, who he's, he's in love with, essentially. Just like, no, I can't do this. Go away. Ugh, I can't. So I was honestly hoping that the movie would go, that we would never find out who the person he messaged was, and the whole message of the movie was whole, like, family and friends type of message. Like, you don't need this anonymous person, you know, who just turned his back on you when you had it rough. You know, you have your friends and family. Ah, but of course they didn't do that. You know, that might have been, like, <laughs> too sad and too dramatic, but I, 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 I love a good drama. But no, we go full in and everybody becomes friends with everybody and he finds out who, who this anonymous person was and they shared a little kiss. And apparently this is all a, a big deal. This is like the first main, like, mainstream, like, gay romance thing, apparently, I guess. I, I honestly don't know, but that's what the marketing was telling me. So I guess that's true. So that's nice and that's literally the entire movie. Like, it's just like... High school, some drama, they go to a party, and all of that, and, you know, it's a little love story and all of that. It's a neat little movie, actually. I, I I enjoyed it. I probably wouldn't watch it again. It didn't really have any rewatchable value. But if you enjoy the coming-of-age teenage movie romantic mysteries... <laughs> again, as I said, the end of the second act was, like, when it was the best, and then it's sort of like... Ugh. It didn't fall apart in the third act, but it just it became a bit too... A bit too happy. Because <laughs> we all want sadness in our lives. But yeah, no, I guess those were all of my thoughts about Love, Simon. It was a neat little movie. It was a lot more comedic than I thought, which I, I should have guessed. I watched the trailer. The trailer wasn't very dramatic. And I was a dull, anonymous person. I was a bit surprised how little they focused on him actually messaging this other person. Because that I thought that would be a huge part of the movie. But it does, it's not really that big. Like, the main big part about this anonymous person is just Simon trying to figure out who it could be and that's fun him basically like looking at all these different dudes and just like are you the guy and then let's of course he figures out like oh shit you're not the guy oh shit you're not the guy I sort of knew who it was mostly because of the actor but yeah I thought it was a neat little movie but hey I want to hear from you guys if you watched it this far I want you to write in the comments what you thought about the movie did you like it did you not like it what parts about the movie do you think could be better what parts of the movie did you really like I want all of your opinions and comments in the comment section down below and I'm gonna go now though and I I think I might start doing this a bit more just making review issues of movies that I watch that are not strictly related to comic books, just random things that I'm, <laughs> I'm watching, who knows, I might start doing this more often, this is just like a little test episode to see how this goes, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go on a though, but I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'm gonna go, again, I've already said that, I love you all, and goodbye, wow.